Ooh, what's up boys how we doing so today we are going to be ranking the best theme teams in madden 22 ultimate team if my voice sounds a little raspy uh there's nothing i can really do about it i've been sick the last couple days and uh, i've been fiending to get this video out so here we are normally i wouldn't like double up on this video in such a short span of time but with all the content that we've gotten in the last week uh, the rankings have actually changed like significantly and moving forward we're going to be doing a lot more with uh, ranking theme teams uh, how much theme teams cost budget theme teams we're going to be doing a lot of stuff like that ranking the best offenses you guys will see in the next coming days what I'm talking about but in today's video we are going to be ranking the top 10 theme teams in the game I'm going to kind of take the back seat for this video we're going to go through all of the lineups all the offenses and defenses of the teams in the top 10 let me know down in the comments if I misranked any teams or if your opinion differs from mine let me know I am down to uh, debate I want to hear what you guys have to say you know what I mean starting on our top 10 theme teams in the game right now we have the Dallas Cowboys theme team and you guys might be thinking you know 10 10 might be a little bit too low for this team with all the upgrades they've gotten in the in the recent past you know what I mean but uh, it's pretty much off a of technicality that they're number 10 because we don't have a running back for this team. Tavon Austin and Zeke. I mean, Zeke is slow. Tavon Austin has like 60 carrying and he's like 150 pounds. Dude, just going to fumble every play. So, uh, you know, the running back isn't ideal there. You got Howard Master, Gunslinger, Tony Romo, who's a very good quarterback. Deion Sanders, Keyshawn Johnson, Michael Irvin, C.D. Lamb, all really good receivers. Some of the best receivers in the game. Dalton Schultz actually plays pretty well on the field. I mean, it, it kind of, you know, his stats really aren't there, but he does play well. Offensive line solid with uh, 89, 93, 90, 91, 93. Jumping over to the defense, and I mean, literally the only reason this team is so low is because their running back is low. I rank the uh, I, I rank the teams by position group, so that's why uh, some of these teams, like if you're missing a quarterback, if you're missing a running back, it's going to tank the score a little bit. On defense, we have absolutely zero safeties, which is fun. Our outside linebackers, DeMarcus Ware, Micah Parsons, Probably the best outside linebacker room in the game. Mel Renfro, Everson Walls, Deion Sanders, three really good corners. You also got Byron Jones and Trayvon Diggs. You could put them at safeties, but, um, you know, obviously this team's going to suffer from the lack of safeties and the lack of running backs. But in reality, if you move some things around and use fillers, uh, this is going to be one of the best theme teams in the game. And that's pretty much the story for, like, all of these teams. Our D-line, Randy Gregory, Jay Ratliff. Demarcus Lawrence, uh, Malik Collins. Our D-line's pretty solid. Randy Gregory's actually a beast. I should probably say this right now. In this video, I am not... We're doing, like, pure theme teams. No fillers. None of the cards that get all team captains. Like, Devin Hester is not going to be on every single team. Dan Marino is not going to be on every single team. So we're ranking pure theme teams. I probably should have said that in the intro. My bad, though. Going on to our number nine team, we have the... San Francisco 49ers theme team. So here we are. You know, we got Jimmy Garoppolo at quarterback. Going to be, you know, not really a viable option. I think this card gets Howard Master, but I wouldn't be loading into a game with Jimmy G. We got Roger Craig, uh, S-tier running back. Our receivers, Deion Sanders, Debo, Randy Moss. Very good receivers. Also, Vernon Davis, best tight end in the game, hands down. Offensive line's very good. We also got Charlie Young and George Kittle. So three really good tight ends. I would... Definitely go with Vernon Davis over those guys. But still, if you wanted to use the other guys, you could. And then on defense, we have Taylor Mays, Ronnie Lott for safety. So we have two good safeties, two really good safeties. Our outside backers are Doomerville, D. Ford. We got Fred Warner on Mike. Marcel Harris is also a pretty valid user. I think he's 6'3 with some decent speed. Corners are really good. Sherman, Verrett, Deion Sanders, Bosa, Buckner, and uh, we got Ndamukong Sue. Actually, no, nah, he definitely didn't play on the Niners. So we got Bosa, Buckner, and uh, that's pretty much it for the interior defensive line. Really good theme team. I'm sure you guys know this uh, Niners theme team. See them all over the place. And the scary thing about this team is that there's so many legends that haven't gotten cards yet. There's also a Jerry Rice that we're waiting for. And uh, I'm assuming that there's going to be a Joe Montana or Steve Young for the Super Bowl promo. So, uh, yeah, you know, this theme team is going to get a lot better. Definitely going to stay in the top 10 and most likely going to work their way up to the top three, you know, as we get to the Super Bowl promo. But, uh, you know, that's number nine, Niners theme team. We're jumping on to number eight. Who do we got? The Green Bay Packers theme team. First time they've been in one of my top 10 ranking videos. I think we only have two of them, though. At quarterback, we've got uh, the Mutt Heroes or Gridiron Guardians or whatever the promo was called. I mean, Rodgers is probably phased out, but, uh, you know, he might be a viable option for it. Definitely going to get an upgrade soon. Uh, AJ Dillon and Aaron Jones are two decent options at running back. We just got Devontae Adams. We also have Jermichael Finley. The other two receivers, uh, Cobb and Risen, kind of stink. But uh, Finley and Devontae Adams should be able to uh, to get it done for you. Offensive line, we've got 93, 93, 88, 89, 85. So, you know, it's definitely an above average offensive line, but we could use a couple more upgrades. On defense, our safeties are stacked. Now we have Darnell Savage and Ted Hendricks which are two of the best safeties in the game. Uh, Christian Kirksey, Seth Joyner at linebacker, which is solid. Jair Woodson and Perry at corner, which, I mean, I'm not going to lie, we're lacking speed at corner, which is definitely going to be a problem. No man coverage with this defense. All these cards are going to get upgraded soon, and I think there's a couple of Packers legends that we're still waiting on. We got Kabir, 
Kenny, Reggie White. Reggie White's definitely getting a legend soon. If you guys haven't caught on to this, they've been upgrading Campus Heroes as legends uh, the past couple weeks with guys like Walter Jones. Uh, we got a couple other dudes too. We got Reggie Nelson. We got Brian Dawkins. Those were all Campus Heroes to start the game, and now they're getting high overall legends cards. So we can look out probably for a Reggie White soon. And uh, I guess maybe AJ Hawk. I really hope they don't give him one. But, you know, if they want to, cool. So number eight team, we've got the Green Bay Packers. Jumping on to number seven, we have the Pittsburgh Steelers theme team. Another new theme team. And we've got Big Ben at quarterback, Hot Route Master, and I think Pass Lead Elite. Let me actually check his abilities real quick. Hot Route Master, Pass Lead Elite, Sefi Lead. Okay, yeah, I was right. LeGarrette Blunt at running back. Uh, probably one of the best power backs in the game. AB, Plaxico, Lynn Swan. We also got Emmanuel Sanders, Chase Claypool. So, you know, five pretty good receivers. Eric Ebron. Uh, I still have yet to use this Ebron card, but you know I, I'm assuming he's pretty good. He's new. On the offensive line, we got Beecham, Pouncey. We got Filer, uh, Feneca. We also got Villanueva. So, you know, it's a decent offensive line. Jumping over to the defense, we've got Minka Fitzpatrick, Troy Palomalu, two really good safeties, Porter Bush, and TJ Watt. So, really good linebacker room. We've got studs on the interior defensive line with Melvin Ingram, Cameron Hayward, Al Woods, Tyson, Alu, Alu, uh, Stefan Dewitt. But uh, the one thing about this theme team that's definitely keeping it out of the top five is the cornerback position. It's just the lack of speed. You know, Steven Nelson, and then you got Joe Hayden and Cam Sun. So those cornerback two and cornerback three aren't going to get the job done at all. You probably can't even run zone with this defense. But, uh, you know, obviously, if you're a Steelers theme team user, you're using fillers at cornerback two and cornerback three. I don't think there's any holes on offense. Oh, yeah, they just got this Franco Harris, too. I completely skipped over that. Uh, my bad. But, I mean, you, you, LeGarrette Blunt's already really good. If you want to use Franco, I guess you can. The team is really solid. Don't get me wrong. It's just that we don't have, you know, we don't have an abundance of corners like some of these teams in the top five do. It's pretty much a trend in the top five. Their corners are all disgusting. But uh, that's the Steelers theme team. Jumping on to number six, we got the Baltimore Ravens. So, backfield, you've got a choice between Randall Cunningham and Lamar Jackson. Oh, we got Ricky Williams, who is an absolute tank. Not going to lie, though, he fumbled for me, but still, I mean, the best running back in the game. We've got Deion Sanders, Devin Hester, and Mark Andrews at uh, as our receivers, as our pass catchers. The offensive line, solid. Uh, Bozeman, Jensen, Zietler, Villanueva, Orlando Brown. You know, we, we definitely could use a couple upgrades at tackle, but, uh, you know, the interior is very solid. Also got huge check at fullback. I can't keep missing the fullbacks, but jumping over to the defense, you know, no true holes. Maybe could use one more receiver there, but uh, the Ravens team team literally had zero receivers like two weeks ago. On defense, at safety, we have Ed Reed and Bernard Pollard. Definitely needed to add Reed upgrade soon. Uh, outside linebacker, Elvis Jumerville, Matthew Judon, definitely a beast. Uh, Ray Lewis, CJ Mosley at middle linebacker, which is not bad. At corner, we got Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Peters, Deion Sanders. So this team has two of the new uh, zero chill LTD. So, you know, that's definitely OP. I think that's the only team with two of them. So the interior and the corners are really good for the Ravens. We definitely could use a couple safeties, though. Aside from that, I mean, this team looks really solid. So maybe like two safeties and a receiver. And this is probably the best theme team in the game. So Ravens at six, jumping up to our number five squad. We've got the Tennessee Titans theme team. And you're going to kind of find a little trend here with the top theme teams is that all, most of these teams are going to have the zero chill LTD. Like we just saw the Ravens. Now we're looking at the Titans because yeah, obviously, you know, quarterback Derrick Henry. So this offensive line, bro, we got Kevin Moai, 96 overall, Quentin Spain, 97, and then a bunch of 89s on the outside. So uh, looking very good there. Johnny Smith at tight ends, definitely a budget beast. Receivers are honestly kind of mid Randy Moss Jones and uh, Andre Johnson. Not the best receivers, if I'm being honest. But if you got this theme team, you're probably running the ball every play. Derrick Henry, Adrian Peterson in your backfield. Probably the best duo uh, out of all the theme teams. Henry is 96 speed. So with the theme team, he would be 97, 98. And if you use a zero chill strat card, that's a 99 speed, six foot three, 247 pound quarterback uh, that gets pretty much disgusting stats, which is cool. And then on the defensive side of the ball, there's no real like studs on this defense besides like Jayon Brown and Wilbur Marshall. But they fill out the overall threshold, like, in all the positions. So, like, it, this is just, like, a really, really good. It's not, like, an amazing or a filthy or a disgusting. It's just a really, really good defense. They just have high overall cards. Like, they're not going to play amazing. It's just that when you grade a team by position groups and every position has 93s and 92s across the board, it's hard to, like, grade them low. So, you know, the Titans are right here, man. We got Wilbur Marshall, Harold Landry. Bud Dupree, Rashawn Evans, Jam Brown. So a bunch of really good linebackers. Uh, we got Bayard, Logan Ryan, Pollard, Tatum. So, you know, four, like, average safeties. And then Janoris Jenkins, Jason McCourty. Like, like it's just, it kind of makes me frustrated that I rank this team so high. 
But I mean, with Derrick Henry, they pretty much deserve it, right? And you know, my, my voice is definitely kind of fading, so I apologize in advance, but I'm trying my best, boys. I'm trying my best. We only got four teams left. Our fourth ranked theme team is going to be the New York Jets. I don't think this team has moved at all. Offensive line is very good. 91 backup left guard. We got a 93 Vera Tucker. Mawai 96. Van Rotten 93. Beecham 91. So, you know, very good offensive line. No tight end, but uh, we got Tim Tebow. Also Boomer Esiason, but Tim Tebow is definitely going to be a beast for you guys. Uh, Curtis Martin, I uh, don't know about him. Brandon Marshall, Keyshawn. Robbie Anderson, Plaxico Burris, you know, one of the best receiver groups in in, in all of Madden. Our safeties are going to have some speed. Ronnie Lott, Jamal Adams, Marcus May, you know, some serious speed there. Wilbur Marshall, Vilma, Ogletree, and then Kevin Pierre, also Ed Reed too. So, you know, you've got a lot of speed at the linebacker and safety position. And then you look at the corners, we got Ty Law, Darrell Rivas, and uh, Perry. So, you know, two really good, like two of the best corners in the game. And then Perry's decent out of the nickel position. Jason Taylor, Quinn and Williams, John Abraham on the interior defensive line. So, I mean, this team pretty much checks all the boxes, man. I, maybe besides running back. Yeah, probably besides running back. If this team got uh, maybe like a LaDainian Tomlinson uh, Super Bowl promo card, this would probably be the best theme team in the game. But yeah, Jets at number four. Uh, not too many upgrades that they need to make. Number three, I'm pretty sure this is a new team in the top 10, and they shot up all the way to three. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals theme team. Uh, we got Jake Plummer or Boomer Esiason at quarterback. So, you know, not like the best quarterback in the game, but a dude that gets solid abilities that'll probably get the job done for you. Uh, we got Adrian Peterson at running back. DeAndre Hopkins, uh, Madra shot, and A.J. Green. You're probably, th you're probably thinking, Jock, look at those receivers. Look at the tight end. How is this team a top three theme team? Offensive line, one of the best in the game. Lomas Brown, Feneca, Hudson, Davis, Dan Deerdorf. We also got another 91, Beecham, if you're feeling froggy. Uh, Fells really isn't good. Zach Ertz, I don't know how that card plays, to be honest. But moving over to the defense. This defense is disgusting, boys. Our, our safeties, Larry Wilson, Isaiah Simmons, Buda Baker. I thought that we were going to get, um, what's his face? A Tyre Matthew upgrade this program. We end up getting Buda. Outside linebackers, Wilbur Marshall, Benson Mayowa, Seth Joyner, Chandler Jones. Obviously, if you're using Simmons at strong safety, you can't use him at middle linebacker. Corners, Peterson, uh, Byron Murphy, and then it pretty much falls off a cliff. Yo, Antro, roll. I don't know if investing in Campus Heroes is the move. Roll's probably going to get a legend soon, or maybe like a Dominique Rogers Camardi or someone like that. But we got Dwight Freeney, Corey Peters, J.J. Watt, John Abraham. So four really good interior defensive linemen. If I was using this team, I would probably recommend you go like 6-1, or uh, you could use safeties as corners, but I wouldn't really run them in man. But I'd probably go Byron Murphy, uh, Pat Pete, Isaiah Simmons, Buda Baker uh, as my four DBs, and then just send house. Like, use your speed at the outside backer position and uh, your strength on the interior defensive line just to cause pressure every single play. I think that would definitely be the move at this theme team. In my opinion, Cardinals are three. Moving on to number two, we got the New England Patriots theme team the team that the bills just beat in real life but unfortunately the bills are at the bottom of the list in mud and the pats are at the top am i salty about that yes but we were better in real life so that's all that matters to me offensive line uh we got a 93 96 91 95 god damn rob gronkowski at tight end our quarterback cam newton with garrett blunt brandon cooks randy moss antonio brown so you know three really good receivers grok's gonna be a beast for you in the red zone cam newton the garrett blunt you know really decent backfield I would probably use Tom Brady over Cam Newton because I've played against Cam Newton. I feel like he sells just so much, probably because he's a free card. But I feel like that Cam Newton card sells a lot. It's just crazy, you know, jumping over the defense. We got another Pat's corner today. Uh, so now they're at five cards. Probably all five of these are 99 speed. We've got J.C. Jackson, Cordero Patterson, and your backups. And then we got a key to leave Darrell Revis and Ty Law. Three bow nose cards on this theme team just at the quarterback position. Our defensive line is also nuts. William McGinnis, Seymour, Vince Wilfork, Akeem Hicks. Safeties, uh, Adrian Phillips, Jerron Harmon. We could use a strong safety, but uh, we're going to have to wait for that. Judon, uh, Brewski, Kyle Van Noy, Jr. Seau. Pets theme team, not really much to say other than you're pretty much one strong safety away from being the best theme team in the game. Just being a perfect team. Maybe like a center. Or actually not. Maybe like a quarterback and a strong safety away from being the best theme team in the game. You know, it's been a fun list to go through. I'm not going to show their lineups, but I will mention a couple teams. On the edge of the top 10, we got the Vikings, we got the Broncos, we got Washington football team, and we have the Lions on the outside of the top 10, waiting to get in, gnawing at the bit, fucking just drool dripping from their jaws, trying to get in the top 10. But uh, our final team is going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers theme team. You know, offensive line is going to get the job done. Lomas, Brown, Allie Marpet, Ryan Jensen, Kappa, Werfs, 
At tight end, we got Rob Gronkowski, Tom Brady, a quarterback with the Garrett Blunt. So pretty much similar back or so very similar backfield to the Patriots. Receiver position, we have Keyshawn Johnson, Chris Godwin, Antonio Brown. When Mike Evans gets an upgrade, he hits 99 speed. He'll be one of the best receivers in the game. So offense, we're pretty much just looking at offensive line upgrades and maybe like one receiver upgrade like Mike Evans. But uh, this defense is perfect, right? So at safety, we've got Antoine Winfield, John Lynch, Mike Edwards. At outside backer, we got JPP, Broderick Thomas, Devin White, Levante David, and uh, Shaq Barrett. So a shit ton of linebackers for you. At corner, we got Aqib Tlaib, Rondé Barber, Richard Sherman, and Darrell Rivas. So, you know, our corners are honestly, I, I don't know if it's better than the past, but that's Sherman definitely. I mean, the Sherman, and I wouldn't say, I, actually, I think the corners are better than the past because if you think about it, Sherman's 6'3", 99 speed on this team. Ty Law on the Patriots is like 5'10", 99 speed. So, I don't know. Patri pa Patriots might have speed, but I mean, dude, the Bucks have size. And this team's going to continue to get cards. Playoff promos right, right around the corner. They're going to get some upgrades there. If they make another run at the Super Bowl, this will 100% be the best theme team in the game. But uh, even if it's not, they're sitting at number one right now. Got their safeties. Got their corners. Got their linebackers. I mean, the defense is pretty much finished, and it'll just continue to get upgrades. And uh, the offense is looking pretty solid. Could use like maybe one receiver, uh, maybe a quarterback. Like, um, who is that one dude? Oh, what was his name? Who is the quarterback that wore number 15 on the on the Bucks? Josh Freeman. Is it Josh Freeman? If he gets a card in this Madden, I feel like that would be kind of glitchy with like Gunslinger and Escape Artist or something like that. But, uh, you know, let me know down in the comments if you guys uh, have any upgrades for the Bucks theme team. But, um, or just any teams in general. What are some cards that we really want to see this year in Mutt? Let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the top 10. And remember, this is my opinion. I'm not saying that this is a fact. It's just that I'm using all these theme teams and not everyone else gets a chance to do that. So I feel like, you know, sharing my opinion is definitely something that would interest you guys. Remember, I'm not saying that this is an absolute 100% fact. I am not God. But let me know down in the comments if you disagree with me. Uh, I enjoy doing these videos. And I enjoy seeing what you guys have to say down in the comments. Unfortunately, no, the Giants and Panthers are not in the top 10. I looked at their teams despite all the comments. And uh, I think people are saying Broncos too. Broncos are almost there. Panthers and Giants are just not even close. I'm sorry. That being said, Jack Siden.